As you know, when electricity flows through a wire near a magnet, the wire experiences a force, gets pushed. Today we're going to do a calculation to determine what the strength of that force would be on this wire in this field. We have a simple formula that tells us how to calculate that force given the length of the conductor that's exposed to that field. That's called L. Notice it's not the full length of the entire conductor that's carrying the current, but it's only the part that's in the perpendicular magnetic field. We have a magnetic field of strength B exposed to that wire, and that wire is carrying a current I. Those are the three variables that are important. The formula we use, force on the wire is equal to the field strength B times the current I times the length of the conductor in the current. times the length of the conductor in the field, L. Note that the magnetic field B is perpendicular to the direction of the current I. Sometimes we use a symbol like this to indicate that, and that's how this formula is intended to be used. Here we can look at our problem and determine the value for our variables. A 2.6 centimeter length of wire so we write that down as 2.6 centimeters. We want to convert that into SI base units of meters. The current in the wire is 0 0.5 amperes up. And finally, this strong magnetic field is 10 tesla and it's to the right. This formula is quite simple to use. We just substitute in the values and then we multiply to determine the value of the force. Once we calculate, we get an answer of 0 0.13 newtons of force. And now we want to determine the direction of that force. So we need to use the right hand rule number three. With the given current I, that would be the conventional current going up. We use our right hand rule, currents going up, magnetic field is to the right, and the palm is pointed into the board. That means the direction of the force is into the board. So therefore, the force on the wire is 0 0.13 newtons, and the direction's into the board. Now, if you are using a different definition of current called the electron flow, the electron flow is the opposite direction of the conventional current, so electron flow would be down. We would then need to use our left-hand rules to determine the direction of the force. So we can do that as well. The magnetic field line is still to the right, the electron flow would be down, and the palm would still be facing into the board, indicating the direction of the force is into the board. So both give you the same answer. Just uh, ask your teacher which rule you're going to be using, the right-hand rules or the left-hand rules, and that's just a factor of which definition of current you would have. Thank you.